up? It is Jay Kuro here, and I am hyper for many, many reasons that revolve around not sleeping. And NyQuil. Mm. And we have our I usual... I thought NyQuil brings you down. I'm reverse. I have reverse effects to drugs. Okay. Like, weed makes me intelligent. Weed makes you intelligent? We or weed? Weed. Weed? People drop knowledge when they hit the weed. Yeah, but that's like high knowledge where you talk about, dude, that's a love seat and this is a couch. So I can't sit on that and send love. <laughs> that's the kind of intelligence you get when you're high. <laughs> I get Albert Einstein intelligence when I'm high. Oh, uh-huh, really? Well, I assume I would be. I've never smoked. That explains why, you know what, I'm not going to go into that. Let's <laughs> do an introduction to the show. So I'm Jay Kuro, as you know, the lovely, awesome Jay Kuro, who is slightly black and in ways that only reflect the outside. She thinks she's cute. So, I can have feelings. And we have our usual lovely counterpart here. It's the soul spring. Yeah, yeah. I don't even, I haven't got my game on Smash Paycheck yet. <laughs> and, you know, I would like to, to I don't, I don't, I'm not really caring about you. So, DCI, this is community service, hook man. a brother up. Can I get a dollar and 15 cents? Because that's how much a sun kiss costs. Prices are rising! And I need my drink. My it's orange, orange drink. My orange drink. orange drink. Or that red Kool-Aid. That purple. <laughs> I want some purple. Grape or red? And some watermelon. And chicken. They don't... Man, I, ain't, I haven't had a good watermelon since I've been out here in Nevada. Why Nevada? Why no good watermelon? But, yeah. um, I guess let's go to our first topic. Yeah, on some other topics where we want to... Get this one story out of the way because um we have a usual issue of people in the industry, not only in the industry but the community, being retarded. I think it should be called when gamers go wrong. That's yeah. that's what I want to call it. It's what the f gamers. Yeah. What the f? What the frog? Don't even deserve the actual word. You just say what the f. Yeah. What the e f f. So in this um segment of what the f gamers, we have um a parent who's a gamer. And her daughter, who was three, decides to throw away some gaming equipment. Her answer to this is to bound her daughter's legs and hands and throw her in a trash bag mm. and kill her. Mm. But, oh, there, but, but, but there's, there's a golden rule here, though. She has an excuse. What's well, an, an excuse? She didn't mean I'm di- to. I'm dying. Di- I, what? She didn't mean to. Get out of here. Get, get they were the- teaching her a lesson. They, they didn't were, mean to kill her. They were teaching the. They wanted to teach a three year old. What do you mean? What you said? They. So she's she's well, married. Yeah, it was. I think it was a couple, like a woman and her boyfriend. And but daughter. two grown people. Yeah, two adults took their child, yeah. bound her hands and feet, and put it in the trash bag, sealed it up, b- because they punishing her. Yeah. Now I'm not sure how it works in other cultures, but black people we just pull out a belt and beat you in in the yard. And beat you to an inch of your life, and it not works. actually to death, to an inch. Then you have the whole beat exchange. the black off you. That's what happened to Jay. That's why she yeah. half white. I got beaten syllables. Yeah. Like, what? Ah, Don't do do. <laughs> hey, stop! Stop reliving it. Stop reliving it. It's gone. You're grown it's now. So vivid. I'm You're grown so... now. Just a second. Okay, I'm good. I'm okay. back now. I thought I'm we were back. gonna have to take five. I'm back. Okay, but, but um, I I'm like I want to say outrage, but outrage wouldn't even be. I want to lay off a bunch a bunch of adjectives that people under seventeen shouldn't hear on public radio. Yeah. This is not really radio, but you know like, what I mean. I just really want to talk about it, but and, it's it that's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Who I mean, where do you come up with that? I'm gonna treat my <laughs> child like a, a terrorist. At Abu Ghraib and, and bound him up Alcatraz, to teach her a le- to teach her a lesson, because she threw away a game system. And we know it gets serious for people. I get mad when people mess up my stuff, but it's not ever that serious to kill someone. Of course, if you didn't mean it, but still, it's, it's to put a child in a bag. That's I mean the whole setup is ridiculous. You know, first the bounding and let's yeah. put it in the bag, and not only let's put it in the bag, but let's seal the bag up. Let's seal the bag up. I thought there was this thing about putting yeah. plastic over your head. I mean, because it's a three-year-old. She's not old enough where she can think in her mind where I can turn to Chuck Norris and, and get my way out of the bag and kill everybody in the house. She <sighs> doesn't think like that. She's three. Chuck Norris invented plastic. Yeah, I invented plastic. He, he invented Fuck plastic that. when he went to sleep and slobbed. <laughs> he slobs plastic. But On to happier topics. Yeah, that's, that's just... I, I, I really, I really hope... It's, it's called video games for a reason. 
game. It's a game. It's it's not Because at the end of the day, no matter how serious it is, it's all a game. Unless, I know we get some broken hearts and, and blood, sweat, and tears in this stuff, but at the end of the day, it's not real. So I just think it's ridiculous. And that those type of things, in turn, help put a black eye on the industry, saying, well, look yeah. what game is influencing. No, that's, that's what we call common sense and decency. Yeah. That's just idiocy. That has nothing to do with a game. That's just but a you're going to have various people use this as their platform to try to ban dip certain video games or play and certain stipulation on video games and, and hurt the industry. It's ridiculous. Dude, between gamers, it's easy for us to understand and explain to each other. But to people that aren't gamers, it's like, well, you did this, and it becomes a lot harder to explain to them. That people are just stupid. I don't even see how you can say, you know what, because I've never bound a child and put it in a bag yeah, in a I game. Just, so where does that action come from? Know. It comes from stupidity. I mean, I've hit hookers with bats before in games. I never bound a person. <laughs> I've driven them the sidewalk with a taxi cab. That just sounds like GTA. It is. It's, but, you know, they're going to use some. some fond memories. They're going to use this to try to ban GTA yeah, but what? 5. What child has said, hey, mom, I want to go outside to the taxi cab and run over hookers. Exactly. And then collect the money that pops out of the butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yeah. when you play the game, the whole street, like, turns green from people's money popping out of their butt for no reason. Yeah. You don't know where this money came from. It's just lump sums of money everywhere. If, <laughs> if I found money that came out of somebody's butt, I don't know if I'm going to be running to pick it up. Yeah. Just... That's just... Like, I might get some tweezers. How did Cleveland say? That's just nasty. <laughs> just nasty, But, man. moving on. Moving on. What's the next topic? Well, as you guys know, um, last week was April Fool's Day, which everyone knows in the gaming industry is the worst holiday to be on the internet if you were a gamer. Yeah, I don't know why we just don't just shut the internet off on yeah, that day. Yeah, because people get too serious on just playing with my emotions. Because you got, like, two years ago, I think it was, they had the, um... The Ocarina of Time live action trailer. Yes, and the trailer was awesome. I mean, there was some People actors were that fired changed, up. but it was still the fact that you did all this for an April Fool's Day joke. I, you know really? what? Bravo. Bravo. Yeah, it was bravo awesome. Yeah, it was bravo. At the same time, it's like, you suck. That was so awesome. Much because, I, I, and the reason I can laugh at it because I'm not a Legend of Zelda fan, <laughs> not like my, not like the host of the show. Over Love here, she Zelda. loves some Zelda and Final Fantasy. Link. So when that came out, and to see her face oh like it wasn't real, I, I enjoyed it. I <laughs> I laughed at your expense. Laugh my agony. But uh, yeah, but uh, you still mad about that? Yeah, She's still, still mad about that. <laughs> it plays with my emotions, man. You can't play with me like that. So but, your um, Skywalker. Of course, this year we had some StarCraft coming to consoles. Which was that was a stupid trailer, of course, and you could tell it was fake. But at the same time, don't play with people's emotions. Don't don't do it. I think it's good. I think it's good to to let them know that no, nah, this ain't happening. Hi, look how gullible, gullible you are. I can't even speak. Gullible, <laughs> you are. I'm gullible with my words right now. I can't talk. How gullible you are. Gullible, gullible, gullible. No, we ain't gonna talk about nothing like that. But I think that they, to me, April Fools. I don't play April Fools jokes anymore because I haven't thought of any good ones in a couple of years. There's only reason why I ain't really yeah. do it. But I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I, just, I think it's fun. You know what's gonna be the trip? The year that they put something for real out there and everybody don't believe it, like a yeah. Mass Effect Five, and people are like that's BS, nah, man. They ain't actually, coming out. Christopher Nolan directed Mass Effect movie. Put that up there, and everyone's like, nope, nope. Yeah, and then people be mad because it was true. You can't win with you gamers. Can't win with you. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm taking my ball and going home like Manny Ramirez. Speed is back to home. But, next lead, um, you guys know who Duke Nukem is. We should all know who that is. Duke Nukem? Yeah. Wow. I remember Duke Nukem back on the... Commodore 64? <laughs> back I mean, that's back, way in, the back day, in the day. I don't think remember the Commodore. Back when games didn't have theme music. Nah. <laughs> that's how long You ago. had like two sounds in the whole game. Doom, 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 doom. You died it was a black screen. There was no sound effect or music when you died it was a black screen. Yes. Game over. Yeah. All your deaths, the one the death scene is just a, had two a static picture that faded in and faded out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Duke Nukem, as you guys know, is not really a womanizer, but he just 
He's egotistical. Bull crap. Duke is a a man's man. That Duke walk in and the it's men buy him though. drinks. That Duke <laughs> Duke birthed Chuck Norris. Yeah. That's that's he I mean I him. said just... his real name is Duke Nukem Norris. Yeah. He's the father of Chuck. He threw him off a mountain when he was a baby to make him strong. Mm, yes. Yes, he took that from Peggy. <laughs> but uh there are some issues with Duke Nukem, of course, because it's a game about Duke Nukem. And people think that, well, mostly crazy, non-fun, I hate video game Americans who watch Oprah too much feel like... Did you talk about Oprah? Oprah is awesome, but people that watch her are crazy. Oprah. I want to go to that show and get a car. Oprah give away cars and... You, you get a cars? humpback world. You get a humpback world. <sighs> Everybody get a humpback. Okay. I but, used to um, have one. They're not that bad to own. No. Yeah, it just kind of clean a lot of poop. I don't even know who to talk to about getting home back well. Mm. Don't even. Anyway, Duke has gotten some um, little backlash about some people thinking that he's very wrong and controversial as a character and that his games promote women to be items. There's a mode, I forgot what it is, I think it's catch the girl or something. It was something where pretty much you just save a chick from aliens and to calm her down you give her a soft, playful pat. Not on the face, but on the butt. Mm-hmm. Just to calm her down and stop wiggling away. Oh, so we don't see that anywhere in Ga- uh, Grand Theft Auto. And and so definitely there will be no type of women objectivity in that new Wii game they got where you <laughs> pat the girl's butt so that she can fly across the stage. Oh, no. Duke Nukem is definitely That's the first different. game to ever objectivize. And I know I just pulled a Jesse Jackson objectivized <laughs> women on, on a video game. I, this is the first I've ever seen it. There was no alien sex scene in Mass Effect, which this I watched like though. 90 times. They calmed down oh, I, for a while. I wasn't just, supposed to say that. No. Um, yeah. You were supposed to share that piece of information. My bad. That was, that was a secret. Well, that's not called. I'm oh, sorry. It's okay. We're here for you. <laughs> but, um, Duke Nukem is just their newest scapegoat. I mean, there was Mass Effect uh, ordeal and Grand Theft Auto mess. Um, stuff over Manhunt. There was a little bitty thing on Prototype, but no one cared because Prototype wasn't really that big. But now, it's Duke Nukem. And honestly... I don't see the problem with it. I mean, people say I'm a female. I should see a problem with this. I'm like, I don't care. I'm not slapping a woman. I don't care. It's just a video game. I mean, I remember a video when Nelly swiped a credit card in a woman's butt. Yep. And now they mad at Duke Nukem. It's, no, the, the biggest issue here is that this isn't real. It's a video game. And probably this game is probably mature or adult only. So why is your 13 year old playing it and getting these awful ideas? That, that's women? that's what I'm talking about. That's that's what I'm talking about. You have to buy the child the game. I, I'm I'm a parent, and you know my my kids won't have Duke Nukem. I might have Duke Nukem. It depends on you know what it looked like, what the ratings are. But I'm not if you, if you don't want your child exposed to something, don't purchase it for them. That that's that's the way that I that's what I feel. Are they releasing this movie? They didn't like no. what's the what's the game that just came out? Uh, uh, Dead Space Two. Oh yeah. Your mom definitely won't like this game. Well, mom, if you don't like it, don't buy it. That solved the problem. So what? You, your ten year old throws a temper tantrum. Who wears the pants in the family? Hmm. It's like that clip of the kid punching his mom in the face or slapping her. That's ridiculous. Kids got issues, though. Yeah, they got issues. Nice. I'll tell you what. You, your Mad kid hits you in the face, uh-uh. send him to North Las Vegas. I'm going to jail if you hit me. Pretty much. I just hit you. What you going to do? You're not a child, I just though. Duke nukem you. You're not a child. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I think it's ridiculous, and I don't but, I don't um, want to spend any more time talking about these people and they're crazy. Yeah, but the um, developer's idea of how to fix this issue was to make a female version of Duke Nukem. Wow. Amazing. Daisy. Daisy Nukem. Daisy. Biggest burly man looking. Oh, is she gonna wear Dukes? Oh, please let her wear Dukes. (laughs) Daisy Duke Nukem. That's what we can call her. (laughs) Daisy Duke Nukem. We should pitch that to them. The game would be off the chain. We can pitch it to them. I want 50% royalties. What? Uh, I want 50% royalties on Daisy Duke Nukem. Let's pitch that. How do you guys feel about that? Let's let us know how you feel um, about Daisy, Daisy Duke Nukem. I think Daisy Duke Nukem would be awesome. That might be on um, the next hit next year. Yeah, you know. For it. Look for it. Your Easter egg <laughs> with with your picture on it. Mine. Yeah. That's I don't know, that's what I think, but 
Yeah. It's just ridiculous the things that people talk about and the things that people do when it comes to video games. <laughs> this game is... Do, 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 do. But I think there might be enough time spent on those people's whinings. Yep. Next would be, of course, some smaller news, but of course, there's Mass Effect 3 details being released. Oh, 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 you, uh, uh, I mean, we do have uh, the tissue in the car. Uh, 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 it's, it's okay. I got your chair. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll leave if you need a moment alone to finish up here. Mm, just, just keep talking. I'm just, I'm just going, I'm just going to revel in it. <laughs> But on Mass Effect 3 issue, blah, 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 blah. Mass Effect 3 details were. Oh, uh, get some on your face? Let me see. Yeah, you got some on my nose a little. So. Oh, yeah. Oh. I had to wipe it off for a second. But, um, to at least in Game Informer's May issue. Of course, there's no multiplayer, which is awesome because I think multiplayer would be a huge waste of time and space in Mass Effect. Yes. Um, otherwise, I won't give too much away with the game to start immediately after the DLC of Arrival. Which was awesome. Get the Arrival DLC. Wasn't super long. Wasn't much depth, but it was. But you do have to re-strategize without having your teammates yeah. there with you. It's a good change of pace going on. And also, I will give you this clue. Try to rescue the Doctor without attracting any attention. <laughs> yeah, there's that. You know. Of course, me, I do it differently. Yeah, but you just go guns blazed yeah. out. I'm a tank. I just run and gun. You're a tank. I'm a 115 pound tank running in the room. Mm. That's just how I roll. I thought you weighed like more than that. Your head looks like you weigh more than no, that. No, that's about 20. Oh, okay. Okay. Serious. So, with this DLC, not the DLC, but the Mass Effect 3, what are some details that we can give the folks on the game that actually, you know, that we I'm not because I don't read articles. I listen to podcasts and video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's ninety percent of the population. How do, how do we? How what can we give them without giving away too much? I think we give um, away all of them. We give give it give them everything. Well, of course, there's some details on on the side games on Smash. Go check it out. But I can tell you that many of the um squad mates you had in the first two games will be present. Not all of them will be in your squad, but um you'll see a lot of familiar faces. You'll start off with both Liara and either Ashley or Caden. Mm-hmm. The sissy pansy boy of Mass Effect One that you saved and fell in love with. He was the only Thank male you. option, and I'm not into Liara. Her uh, face looks like I, her eyes always twitch, and I want to punch. All I'm face. saying, just all these women, all you know what? This is a girl thing. You know what I'm saying? You talk about a guy, but you dated that guy. That's the part that kills me. You were talk about oh thug guys, the th- thug guys, the this and that, and your boyfriend is the biggest thug. That that ever existed in his own mind, I give you that. Guys. Yeah, you talk about them too, but that's different. You talk I about you. you talk about it's... you talk about Bieber like you haven't had the fever. You talk about nah, it like that's like R. Kelly. Going you on. can't do it. I don't even want to hear it, man. Justin Bieber, like twenty nine years old. I look at him. I'm committing a crime. Whatever, man. All I know is you dated a dude that looked like Bieber. I did. Yep. Hey, Jesus. Oh, good gravy. De Jesus. De Jesus. Jesus. But, you know, I'm, I'm just tired of women ragging on dudes that they date. The same type of dudes that they date. Just tired of it. You huh. ragging on Kaden. But, who, about video games but who, was you, who was you somebody rocking, knocking the boots in Mass Effect 1 with Kaden Alenko? I mean, he, is, he is weak, though. I mean, I killed him. It's bare, I'm going to let Ashley Why? die. At, did you see Ashley? Ashley scares Pe- me. People are always talking about uh, what's the girl in the second one? The, the Miranda. Did you see Ashley though? Ashley had it banging she before had Miranda. That ca- yeah, oh, the hell no. <laughs> you, you need a moment? Do we need to go? No, I don't need a moment. I don't need a all moment. Right. I already had a moment. Ugh. But um, that's all we can really share about Mass Effect Three. The res details you can find on the site. Go check it out. And, and somebody wants to kill you. What? Somebody wants oh, to kill yeah. you. But we won't give that away. Somebody wants to Somebody. kill you. Somebody. Somebody. Well, last little piece of news I guess we can share with you is this anonymous group from the Guy Fox mask. Oh, gosh. We're not going to go into detail about it because it's not really important. And I don't really care. You know what? I give it to him. Basically, some people got pissed off at Sony, tried to hack their stuff, and blah, 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 trying to show their manhood. Is that pretty much just about it? Yeah, that, that's it. Can we get that in there? You know what? I I have a question. You know, your your girl, I hope you are, but 
Yeah, don't chance. look at it. Not while we, <laughs> not while we in here. But what do you do when you with a guy and you beat him in the game? How does that guy react? Cry. Guys, I want. I mean, do you guys cry if a girl I mean, beats you in the I've game? I've had a guy cry and just lose his manhood completely. But there's other guys that are like whatever. That's freaking ridiculous. I and uh, some uh, this a poll question I would like to ask the guys. Do you feel shameful when you get beat by a girl in the video game? In your face, son. And like after the game, do you feel shame? Will you ever tell anybody? Or or before the game, if you find out somebody's a girl, do you want to crush them? I know in my mind, I want to crush them. Yeah, I've, I've realized that many times. Have we played together? Yes. Did you win? No. Oh. I didn't know it was you. We were sitting next to each other. Oh. Ooh. What are you doing? All right, well. What are you doing? <laughs> well, that's all for today, guys. Um, of course, we'll be question. back again next week after Soul Spring continues to um, humiliate me on video games. I didn't know it was you. We're done. You was wearing different makeup. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I see you guys again. Of course, check out all the stories we talked about. Check out games on Smash.com. I'm Jay, and this is... Oh.